Hey guys, and welcome back to Rad Visas. I'm Natalie. I'm Will, and in today's video, it is a continuation of our trip up to Charlotte for the Goodwill Grand Opening. We're gonna hit up some Goodwill stores, yeah. buy things cheap, sell high online for profit. So let's go. Pretty cool looking Goodwill. All right, hopping out the whip. You gonna find some stuff now? Did you lock the door, the car? No. <laughs> All right, now we could go. You gonna find some stuff, Matt? I, I'm just hoping you will find some stuff. All right, well, I gotta get in there first. I let you get the good stuff. Okay. Oh, this one's well lit. Oh, this one. Yeah. Lemonade. <laughs> Wow, lots of blazers. Sweaters. That's cool. Yeah, it does. What did you get, Nat? From the new racks, bread and butter, North Carolina Tar Heels, champion nice. hoodie. Nice. 25 plus shipping. Easy peasy. It's nice. Then, Sla Zinger Augusta National Golf Shop Masters Windbreaker Vest. Should be an easy pick up there. Should be 25, right? Yeah. And it's super clean. And then another bread and butter, Adidas track pants. I'll take it for two minutes of walking in. Yeah, right? 25, 25, 25. That's $75. Oh, <laughs> this girl maths. <laughs> All right, this is my rack. Get, oh, okay. get, get out of here. Back to what I was doing. All right, come on. Will needs a good find. Damn, it does smell really nice in here. Oh wow. What is that? Judy blue jeans. Judy blue. Straight fit. Black. Great condition. Yeah. Should be 25. Maybe, Maybe 30. 40. Yeah. Maybe 30. Now, That's so funny. Didn't I tell you this was my rack too? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Just working our way down the pants and jeans section. I come to this one before, well, it is a competition after all. And uh, spot these Levi's 560s jeans, and they look to be vintage. These are the loose fit tapered leg, like a light wash blue. Easy, easy, easy pickup here, automatic. They are $6.99. Not the five ninety nine that we're used to. I think thirty, thirty dollars something. Oh, and there's another one right next to it, and it's got a big hole. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna leave this one. <laughs> Would have been hot. Oh, he's smiling. He's got something. No BS. I found these last two. No other oh, throwbacks. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? First one here, Vineyard Vines Performance. As long as this is clean, pick up. Should be easy. 25-30, yeah. Now the real money maker. Oh my, I, now, I just saw yeah, that. You look for this, but you really want to oh look for the dog. God. It's been a minute since we found Roback. Now I do see a few small subtle stains, but we're still going to pick this up. Yeah, barely there, and that might go. We're gonna do one of the uh, tips we got from some other people. Just soak it in Oxy. We always use OxyClean, but not to soak it. Mm -hmm. So we'll try that one for this one, because this is an, like an $80 polo. I have never not once found a rollback. You'll get there one day, younger. <laughs> one day. Where's the card? Good find. Oh, I totally left the card over here. 
wow it was like i know that i the know strikes. that yeah wow i'm so glad you went through that entire thing yeah. and then he finds roback oh, massey bola brand found one more too chubbies so one more i found on the bottom rack here with all the crazy stuff is chubbies great brand to be on the lookout for they sell swim trunks and polos and stuff i've never found like a henley oh i just seen that yeah yeah it's kind of <laughs> cool because the color pops on the inside there. true it almost looks inside out but they're known for their elaborate designs craziness chubbies gotta get down in the trenches you know nat doesn't want to that's why she never finds anything good <laughs> Why do they got to make it so inconvenient to look at? Yeah. The <laughs> so you know how we always tell you guys to look for something different, right? So I spot this. I mean, if this doesn't scream different, I don't know what does. Got that crazy cartoon all over it. And I'm like, I don't know. There's no tag here besides the little size tag, which is the typical small size tag that cheap fast fashion brands use. You know that one little tag and then no brand tag just the size and I thought this might be Shein I look down here wah, wah, it's Shein a brand you don't pick up so leaving this behind just because something's different doesn't mean that it's a pickup make sure that it's actually a good brand too all right so what we have here is a bolo brand for jeans it is Judy Blue Miss Natalie found a pair of jeans earlier in this store these are the jean shorts though i looked them up i don't see a specific model oh wow these are a 4x so they i did not search by that but the jean shorts were ranging from 15 dollars all the way up to 30 dollars now if i search 4xl and we get 25 or 30 these are going to be a definite pickup for 6.99 all right, I am kind of in shock right now. So this is our best friend, Peter Millar. It's linen and cotton, a long sweater cardigan with three buttons, yeah. And I thought, oh my God, easy $50 at least. Look at the tan and look up the comps and there's over 70 listed and they're listed for pretty high. I'm talking about $50, which I thought this was gonna go for. When you look at these sold ones, there's only four sold and it's a little bit all over the place and just a really bad sell through rate, meaning there's no demand for it, which can lead to a really slow sale or just no sale at all. Only four sold in the last 90 days, like that's not good. And this is the season for sweaters too, so if it doesn't sell now, it just is not selling. Just pulled these off the new rack, I'm gonna go show Nat. She hasn't seen what I found. Got some Wrangler jeans here. They look clean, don't they? Yeah. You know why? Cause they're brand new. Oh. So we got the Wrangler Slim Fit Cowboy Cut. And these guys are the Active Flex. Got all the stickers on it. Haven't looked them up yet, but they should be an easy pickup. Jeans here are $6.99. I'm expecting probably like 30 bucks. They look exactly like the ones that we had seven pairs of and they all sold in like Yeah, weeks. yeah, it was cowboy cut yeah, also. It was just like an orange tab, not slim fit. Not slim fit. Yeah. Let's see here. Where is Will? Ah. Hey, Will. So, what the? these are a bolo brand that I've heard many resellers talk about. These are For All Mankind what? jeans. These are Flair, the Dojo model. Flair is super in right now. The comps, there's about a thousand listed, 700 sold. Okay. Ranging from 40 to $70. Whoa. And a lot of them didn't even have these wow. rhinestones on them. So we gotta see what we're gonna price ours at. Look at that, 70 bucks. Oh my God. Boot cut, bling. All right, so that's similar. I yeah. feel like ours has more. Okay, let me take over the jeans section. No, no, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> wow, this is your store. 
Whose store? Your store. That's what I thought. <laughs> These are some cute Tommies right here. Look at the punch. Oh, wow, that is cute. Oof. Here we go again. So these ones are the skinny boot cut, it looks like, for all mankind. Bling? No bling. No bling. But the quality seems good. We gotta look these ones up. Hopefully it's the same as the flare boot cut. Alright, let's see what else we got. Is there more? <laughs> no, okay. I'm trying to like scope it. Me too, I'm trying to Get see. This is my aisle. I just want to find something Matt, too. Matt, this is my aisle. <laughs> All right, so correction, I was saying for all mankind for the brand, but it is seven for all mankind. Update on the skinny boot cut jeans. On eBay, there was about 100 listed in this size, 24. Only one sold. I don't know what's going on with that, but there was a ton on Poshmark that were sold. However, they ranged from $7 all the way up to $50, but more so in like the $15, the $20 range. The jeans here are, I think, 6 or $7, so it's just not worth it in our book. And this size being a 24, that's like a double XS. Yeah. It's not yeah. a good size. Exactly. And another sad update here on the Judy Blue jean shorts. The 4XL. These are not a pickup. There was a few listed on eBay. None sold. A few listed on Poshmark. Two sold. What you got on the Masters vest? As for the Masters, the ranching should be 20... 20 to 30 dollars okay not bad i'll take that all day yeah like 25. we love our masters gear and masters tournament is coming up all right heading over to the next goodwill which will be number five total for the trip so far two minutes until arrival it's 4 40 this is way later than when we normally go to goodwill normally we're there in the mornings and afternoons like early afternoons so this is late Matthews, North Carolina, Goodwill. Let's go. Pew pew! Okay, I don't know if we are in a simulation or whatnot, but this is crazy. Look what I just came across. Now I found a 7 for all mankind and this is not even the same store that will found the other two. However, sadly for me, this one's called Carol. I looked up the comps and they were just not good. So this one's actually no. So just because you find a bowler brand doesn't mean that they all sell. So make sure you look up the exact model. And as I'm talking about it, I see a different bowler brand behind it. Hold on. So that one's a no, sadly, but still crazy. Like what are the odds? We've got a pair of Miss Me jeans. We got the bootleg, we got the thick stitching, oh my god, and we got the crazy back pockets. We do not pick up the boring ones where they don't have, you know, some rhinestones or stitching or just like some really cool design on the back pockets. But when it has all of this, this is beautiful. We picked them up. Despite the sell through rate, we have learned that these sell for around $30. So I got to the end of this jeans rack. And I found another seven for all mankind, and this is the standard one. So the sell through rate for the standard model is slightly lower than the dojo model, and also the value is significantly lower, about half, but should still be around twenty-five to thirty dollars for the pickup, which is not bad. And jeans here are six ninety-nine flat rate. We hear a lot of people hyping up Madewell. I found these, got excited because we did recently sell a pair of the vintage high-waisted flare or something like that. But be sure to look up every single pair. These are the road tripper ones. There's about 1,200 listed, only 200 sold, so they're definitely being left here. But Madewell is a good brand, just depends on which model. Well, this brand just reminded me of you. Flying monkey? <laughs> <laughs> not funny now. Okay, I just thought this shirt was kind of funny. It's not a pickup, but we got Santa riding on the water with a shark coming after him, 
dragged by a boat. That's actually hilarious. This would be a perfect Christmas next year. <laughs> oh, okay. I swear this was not intentional. I didn't even know this was here. We got a Ralph Lauren classic fit 2XL tall button down shirt. It's a button down and not a button up because the collar buttons down to the shirt. And it's a really nice striped shirt. So we did not pick up the regular, had it just been a 2XL, I wouldn't have picked it up. But being a tall, we should get 25 for it. This one's for all the new subscribers who haven't watched our channel. The OGs know the deal with this already. Polo Ralph Lauren, the tall or big is an automatic pickup every single time. No way. No I way. This was not planned. <laughs> this was not planned. As long as they're in great condition, easy yeah. 25 bucks. Wow. Bigger the size, the better typically. <laughs> right behind it Stop. was another one. Heck yeah. Oh, 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 it's a size large. Get that out of here. Dang. And here is another one. 2XL tall. She just found another one over there. I just found yeah. another one here. <laughs> it's a battle now. We're tied. Whoever finds the next one wins. Yes, I found another one. <laughs> All right, I get three seconds. Oh, this is a really nice faded red plaid. Wait, this is hilarious. What the heck? Why does she always get the better racks? Ah, it looks like that's it. Looks like I won. Oh, look at him. Look at his face. The face of defeat. San Fran? That's pretty cool. Oh, then we got some Jordan. This is the, it looks like 2005, size 3XL, full zip track jacket. If it's clean, this thing should be a pickup. I would probably say about like 30 bucks plus shipping on this. I love how the Jordan tab is right there dangling. That is sweet. All right, guys, so we finished up two stores. Awesome little haul here on the way to Charlotte. So we just got four 2X tall polo button-down shirts, I should say. Yeah, Ralph Lauren. We're going to probably lot them up in twos. Yeah. Quicker sale. Then we got the Miss Me jeans. Mm -hmm. Always a pickup with the cool embroidery and the bedazzlement there. Yes. Bread and butter piece here. Then we got... Some ramen. No, stop. <laughs> the North Carolina bread and butter. Yup. New it tags Wrangler. The seven for mankind. Right? The the dojo one. The dojo. That's the one you gotta look out for. Yes. Dojo. Dojo. Masters. The vest. Oh, Damn, this is quality. Bolos. The Performance Vineyard Vines. Yes. And then another huge bolo, the Roback. Yes. If you find yourself oh a Roback, comment, let us know because we want to share the enjoyment with you. We get so hyped when we find these bad boys. 560s. Yes. Oh my goodness. Good two stores, yeah. nah. Dang. And then what we got here? I forgot we got all this. Uh, Judy, Judy Blue. Blue. Another bolo. Yes. So to end it, those two stores did provide for us. Yes. It's going to pay for our gas, our food, pretty much not the whole trip, but we'll make a lot of profit. Yeah. So this was store number four and five on our way to Charlotte. And they provided way better than our first three. Then one, two, and three. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So now we're off to six, seven, eight. Oh my God. It's getting dark. It so is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching video number two of our trip up to Charlotte for the Goodwill Grand Opening. Stay tuned. We got a third one coming and then it should be the Grand Opening. So we'll catch you guys on the next one.